Yes, sir. Ski, you are tuned in to another edition of Infinite Vibes provided by Taste and Powered by Dash Radio. I'm Moran, the man. My lovely co host DJ B Lex and D Lou are in the building. We here, baby. D Lou is drinking some healthy juice as usual. Right, what is that, sis? Kombucha. Mm. I heard it's good. The it's a quiet taste. Okay. Yeah. Brave. yeah. 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 The Melanetic Queens are in the building, but we're in the process of an up and coming artist. She's clearly doing her thing, and she decided to, I guess, pop up like a fairy and join us. Please, <laughs> please introduce yourself to our listeners, ma'am. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Jordan Pauline, and I sing and I write and I do a thousand things. Oh, oh okay. We're going to dive into that. Okay. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, first things first, thank you for being here. We greatly appreciate your presence. Right. Thank you for having yes. me. All good. How's your day treating you? It's going great. I'm happy I'm here. Yeah, okay. It's Dope. good. Mm -hmm. So for our listeners who don't know, like, where are you from? I'm originally from Georgetown, Guyana, but I oh. reside in Los Angeles right now. So. You oh, got wow. a Caribbean vibe. Yeah. That's why I felt that, like, boom, boom. as soon as you started talking. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. What'd you say? Boom, boom. Hey. Oh, we need a Caribbean record. Oh, right, we need one. We get in one. Get like, in the yeah, yeah. Oh, here. Um, there it is. Two more days. We might have. I, we might have. We might have this conversation off a record. We might have been okay, able to okay. do this. <laughs> so, how did you really, you know, step into music? Did you? Well, before that, did you um, grow up in Guyana, or did I you? came from Guyana when I was six. Okay. Forcefully to LA, and um, ever since. My mom was like pursuing her dream as a manager, so that's why we came here. And like I would just music? tag, yeah. Oh, wow. So I was tagging myself along with her. Yeah. I tried the school thing out. Kids were mean. Mm -hmm. Couldn't take a Guyanese kid in school in LA. Left, dropped out in second grade as a homeschool. Mm -hmm. Then I started writing for Disney around ten, and I did Shake It Up and Farm. Did I Carly Victorious? I did all the Disney Nickelodeon little shows. Oh, I was so writing, that's fine. Yeah. Right. Write music. Yeah, I was writing oh, music. Super so like and when they be like, "This is such and such. This is the Disney Channel." That was you. No, I was writing like the behind like the scenes songs. Like on Shake It Up when they were dancing to the right. music. I was doing that. She was like the soundtrack, like mm -hmm. that type fire. to the show. Yeah, yeah, that's fire. Congratulations. Yeah. Cool. You said at ten. Yeah. All types of royalty <laughs> <Wow>. chicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. So did Anderson. your mom end up managing you? Yeah, she manages me now. Oh, that's yeah, so you know. dope. What's yeah. that like? Um, I'm so grateful that I got to experience mm -hmm. like seeing her manage different artists and different females and rappers, like because I knew this shit wasn't easy, mm -hmm. you know. So I made a, like a conscious decision, like this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then she's super smart, so she just filled me up on game. So like even I had to like push her to get behind me. Because everybody's like, oh, you're just such and such daughter. You know, she's just temporary. You know, they didn't want to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And then I just went out on my own due to my mom's business mindset that she gave me. And found the producers, found everybody, did it on my own, came back. I said, here's the product. Now they're like, okay, wow. Well, mm -hmm. so, like, That's what it takes like, sometimes. Yeah. They just want to see. You got to do it yourself. And mm -hmm. then, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Right. It's your mom. So, like, right. you can trust yeah. her. Yeah. I can trust exactly. her. Exactly. Yeah. Where's she at? She ain't here? No, she's um at the Airbnb. Why should oh, I come here? Should have came. Damn, I'm a fake. No, nah, she. <laughs> shout out to the mom. Shout right. out to the mom. Yeah, you know, shout out to her. That's cool. Who are some of the artists that she used to manage? Um, she managed. Nobody. I mean. Okay. All right. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but she does like a lot of behind the scenes for like TV and film. Fire. So like soundtracks, like Way Steve. She did that whole uh behind like music for that. She does like. Manage artists that write for Beyonce. Fire. The guy that did positions for Ariana Grande, she managed. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. Like the he did he did the production. The beat, yeah, that's really that cool. check different. <laughs> yeah. Right. Interesting. That's what's up. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So you know, what are some things that you've learned on your journey up to this point? Because to be in the music industry as a child is, you know, man, I honestly thought it was gonna be easier, <laughs> but you know, I've learned so much. I've learned that. This is an all in or nothing thing. Mm. You either a shark or you get eaten. Mm. Mm -hmm. I learned that you have to be persistent with yourself. You gotta work harder than everybody on your team. Just to get you know, you really do. And shit. To keep going. Like I don't wanna do nothing else. Like mm. I can't see myself doing anything so else. you never had a job you've mm -mm. never wow. you never had a job i mean she was writing that i was right that's literally too, so a like, job yeah, yeah. I was, that was a job yeah, yeah. Like, i was homeschooled too so i was just like i didn't know like you know right and that's a great job yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it was like you know it's still hard but we 
We figured that shit out, right. honestly. So mm-hmm. question, that out. if if you, do you think if you didn't grow up seeing like your mom in the music business, you would have still yeah. been doing what you're doing? Yeah. Super dope. Because why this is like a confirmation for me. My first words was a song. And then I remember, I literally remember being a kid, like two years old, mm-hmm. and like seeing Aaliyah on mm-hmm. TV. Mm-hmm. I literally remember that moment. Wow. And then I was just like, I want to do that. And then yeah. growing up, I saw Beyonce, Baby Boy era. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's what, what I want to do. do. <laughs> yeah, like, that's I want to be sexy singing hot <laughs> yeah. songs too on TV. Yeah. Like, I literally, that's all I want to do. Word. All the Guyanese women I meet are so beautiful. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, one of my other friend, her name Nisi, she's like a YouTuber, but she's oh, so, totally she fun. pretty too. Like, Y'all, well, I don't know fire. what it is because y'all kind of like Jamaican a little bit. Um, it's West Indies. <laughs> West Indi- oh, no, yeah. they're kind of like in that realm of thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all Jamaican kinda, a little bit. Y'all you know, Jamaican you know, a little bit. I ain't trying to be ignorant, but. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all just. But you know what I'm saying, y'all? Because, yeah. That way. You're beautiful. Yes, sir, Steve. I cannot believe them little boys was mean to you as a little kid. That's what I know. It was the girls. So mean. The girls and the boys. Mm. Oh they my just God. liked you. That's, That's how they was. was. But also, like, that coming from Guyana, yeah. going to L.A., yeah. Yeah. Guyana to L.A., like, I didn't have no drip. I went in hair nappy, like, yeah. looking mm. like, you know, like, yeah. hey, you like, know. Yeah. Low-key, like, mean girls when she came from Africa and was just like, Komodo for the kids yeah. and shit. And they were like, oh, we don't fuck with you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's really what it felt like. But kids yeah. in second grade were just so mean. Wow. Like, mm-hmm. So you're tough. Yeah, I'm tough. Like, a little bit. it made you tough. Yeah. Like, I'm not like, I'm still sensitive. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be gangster with that. Yeah. Right. You can't be gangster. <laughs> What's your song? I'm a Virgo Leo. Oh. You're a Virgo. Yeah. So your birthday is the end of July. August 23rd. You're a Virgo. So you're a Virgo. You want to us? Same birthday as Kobe. Yep, you're a Virgo. Yeah. You want to us? Virgo, I love my yeah. Wow. So what's it like That's dating, so being in the entertainment industry? It's hard. It has its challenges. Um, I really suggest going all in with yourself and then joining, building yourself up. Like a lot of people forget in a relationship, they forget to build themselves up and they put all that energy and the person mm. and forget about themselves. But mm. it's like when you're already built up and then your person is built up, y'all come together and build an empire. Right. Right. So it's like you got to make sure if you want to be in a relationship in the industry, it's hard and it's not easy because they be insecure. It's a lot. But once you built up and you, you know your foundation, you know right. who you are, like it's going to be a breeze. Like. True that. You know. So would you date somebody that's not in the industry for? I mean, I have someone right now. Congratulations. But, um and it it is it was difficulties, but I'm I know what I want in life. Like I'm not gonna let nobody stop me in that and I had to paint that picture in him, like, look, I ain't giving up my dream for nobody, nothing. You either with it or you're not. Right. And I let him choose. I gave him the ultimatum and he was like, All right, I'd rather stick with you, da da da. So now okay. he's building this shit up. I'm already like, all right, cool. Bam, right. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it's about. Is he in the industry as well? Um, yeah, he does a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the conflict? Was it, you know, was he jealous or something? What was I was just curious. Mm, I guess you could put it in that sense, but a lot of, you know, hierarchy male in the industry you know, be trying it with me. So mm. that could of course conflict. Yeah, I mean, because he got to protect his girl. Yeah, you know, but I don't blame him with that. But I'm like, look, this is what I do. Mm-hmm. You know, this, like, you know, I make sure he's secure enough to know, like, this is my life, my goals, my dreams. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. a loyal, amazing woman, too, so. With so all the sure. temptation. Yeah, like, you I, don't don't even, I don't care about none yeah. of that shit. Like, no, I'm ready to, like, number one's billboards. Like, right. <laughs> I don't care about who's trying to fuck, like, who's trying to holler at the time, like. These niggas are so wishy-washy. Exactly. I don't care about these industry plants. Do you all. feel like women are more prone to be loyal with temptation at them all the time versus men? Because men, I don't oh, know. Oh, God, here we go. It's just, I have to ask this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you just say you a loyal person. I'm sure you get a thousand people trying to holler at you every time, every day. So, But you like, no, nah, I'm good. I got to do. Like, mm-hmm. I'm straight. Do you think it's easier for women? Generally? I mean, it's different. Because some women still probably don't feel secure with their partner. So they're probably, like, looking for the next best thing. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, 
like I said, I know what I want. I know who I am and stuff. So I'm like, okay, this doesn't interest me because you're not, you know. So I don't, I can't explain it. I really can't explain it. It's like, it's hard. I think it but goes back to what you said. Yeah, like, like if you know, if you anyone male or female if they haven't given themselves the love mm-hmm. they're always going to be looking exactly externally. so you the temptation is like oh it's attention oh yeah. i like it right. oh right i'm not like getting it with hold, my dude or my girl mm-hmm. yeah you're holding a line you're not even really you don't really need it from your girl yeah. or your dude because you give it to yourself right exactly. and the other noise doesn't even bother yeah me. exactly mm-hmm. she said it perfectly yeah. That's some real self control. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. I love it. Girl talk at its finest. So we <laughs> we've asked a couple of women who've been on the show this question. So I got we got to ask you because we had a debate as a topic. <laughs> what you about to ask? Right. You about so, to ask another girl talk? Yeah, no, no, I just got to ask because we had Dajay Keys on the show. She gave us her opinion. So we want to ask you. So as a woman, you're making your own money. You're doing your own thing, but you have a man that's willing to pay for everything, pay the bills, what yo your, your wardrobe. We know that shit. Ha for an artist. He's paying for all this stuff to make sure you're straight. Are you submissive? Yes or no? I'm a real nigga. And then, like, I don't know. I'm submissive <laughs> to an extent. I make sure stuff is done. And, but if you talk back to me a little bit, I'm just not going to talk to you. Like, don't be mean to me. The fuck? I don't know. I'm a little bit submissive. So if your man is like, hey, I, I need, pay everything. Like, be submissive to me. Not a be not not controlling. <laughs> I mean, he he's trying to say like you get in your own bag, uh, and y'all go out and uh, say he wants to pay the bill. Are you going to let him pay the bill? Are you going to oh, let yeah, him? Yeah, go ahead. You going to let him pay your rent, your mortgage, yeah. all that, mm-hmm. even if you get in your own bag? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. You he needs you to listen to him. You gonna listen? No. Now listen. I'm a listener. What? I listen. You know, like. I respect everybody in my life. I'm not going to do any <clears throat> shisty snake shit behind your back. Like, if you're in my life, I make sure I do right by you. Cause whether you pay bills or not. Whether you pay bills or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if the love is there and it's genuine, like, yeah. it's nice. Right. It's a plus, And it's preferred. Yeah. But <laughs> either way, like, I'm going to do right by it, you know? Yeah. I don't so, think yeah. just because you pay everything don't mean somebody has to do. Nobody has to be, like, what is it called? Like, it's your diet, like bow down you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like you don't have to do that because somebody you choose to pay all the that's on you if you're it's not genuine don't fucking pay every for everything yeah. if you're expecting shit i right. hate that yeah. like also, stop paying yeah for don't shit. do that that's, yeah that's like a, that's whack mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Like, don't do that because yeah. like and then it makes you feel dependent on them like don't make your spouse feel dependent mm-hmm. that's literally hindering them from everything right mm-hmm. like, cool all right, solid, solid. <laughs> we got some solid females that came through the show. Yeah. Okay, so talk to us about your music. You got some music that you're pushing. What can we expect from you? Talk to us about it. Love songs about nobody is my debut project EP, and that comes out on Friday, June 11th. Oh. And it took me four times, a long four times, to make this. Um, wow. Hard drive was stolen. <gasps> music was stolen from me. All types of shit. And then mm. the third time, three days, got it done, and. Yeah, I'm pushing this all, all, all in, yeah. betting on me right oh, now. Oh yeah, that's all it. All in, yeah. bro. I gotta go crazy with this. This is my first debut. I was gonna say debut. Congratulations. Debut. Right. And yeah. I had six songs out before, so I'm really nervous because I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna like. But yeah, this is it. You here? Yeah. That's Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. That's Thank you. Um, is it all you? Any features? Uh, it's all me. Okay. Yeah, okay. right now. I mean, I was expecting a feature. Um, that's going to come later on because it's a really big feature. And I want to make sure, like, because I'm still independent. Mm. So when I drop this, I'm going to, you know, have my way. Mm-hmm. That's why I wanted to drop before I sign. And then well, my feature's coming. Leverage. Yeah. 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 She's creating leverage. <laughs> yes. yeah. right. That's what it's called. Yeah. Smart. Create that yeah. leverage. Yeah. Keep going, <laughs> Do you have any dream collaborations? Anybody that you just got to work with before it's all said and done? That's for real. Hmm? For real. For real. Mm. Yeah. That's I love me one. some for real. Mm. Yeah. Dope, dope. His art. Well, what about for real? What is it? His music, uh, his swag, his everything. music, everything, bro. Yeah. For real, for real. His frequency. Like, like, yeah. why his frequency? <laughs> that nigga is tapped in. Like He's I so need to speak with him. Yeah. He's an Aries, by the way. Really? And I'm an Aries. Oh, my mom's 
married. Yeah, oh, we're cool. kind of that. We kind of we're kind of old souls. It's kind of like we've been here before, mm-hmm. yeah. like in this planet. You know a lot. You know a lot. Mm-hmm. But still learning. Exactly. At the same time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What for real era? Like NERD for real. Uh, um, skateboard P, NERD of course. P. I even like the happy for real. I love everything for real does. Yeah. yeah. I really do. Yeah. Absolutely. And so many people told him no, like his story is insane, but mm-hmm. all of our mm-hmm. stories are, but right. it's just like to see it and hear it and like see him now, amazing. Like what black man is partnered up with Chanel? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's major. <laughs> yeah. that, part, that is major. Nah. Like, yeah. Oh, well, we're going to manifest that in your future. Bless mm-hmm. you, D. Lou. Right. We're going to manifest that in your future. Sure. Pharrell Williams, she want to work with you, yes, big sir. dog. Yeah. That cool. part. I was working with Jazzy Faye last night. Oh, oh that part. Part. Yeah. What was that like? It was amazing. We did some, like, real life, like, Missy, Sierra, like, yeah. fire ass shit. And I'm like, that's hard. Yeah. I, love, I love watching him in the studio because, like, he like got this energy he about himself. Energy, like he bro. just be hyped the whole time in the mm-hmm. studio. Then he got his little keyboard, mm-hmm. and then like he got other people like vocal producers and stuff mm-hmm. like that in the, in the songwriters in the mm-hmm. in the studio. But it's just like his system, and I just be like, I see I why you Jay Z fan. And it's passion. It. Yeah, it's the passion. Like, exactly. Every time that I've seen him. He's the same way. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never seen him not like that. Right. Like, just high energy. He's just high energy, yeah. happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were, we, we fucked with Jazzy Faye. Yeah. Shout out yeah. Jazzy. He's awesome. For sure. Yes. Shout out to him. Good for you. Good for you. Well, mm-hmm. we rocking with you for sure. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So when you blow up, please just, you know, just just make sure. Of you course, know, I'll remember. circle back. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we rocking with you. We want to see you win. We want to see you, you know, Thank get you. these number one hit records and go platinum and all that. So um, we always like to end these with just positive words of affirmation. So what's some advice that you can give to anybody on the come up? I really try to change it every time I get asked this question, but it's really going to be the same thing because it's life. Don't look across the street. Um, Stay prayed up and be yourself. We already have 101,000 of the same people. Please be yourself. Keep going. Be persistent. And don't let nobody tell you no. You could do it. <laughs> I love that. Don't yeah. look across the street. Don't look across the street. Wise words. Yeah, because mm-hmm. a lot of people be like, oh, my God, this person's doing this, and I should be doing that. Da, 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 da. Like, mm-hmm. That's going to, like, no, that's their blessing. Like, yeah. wait on your turn. We all have our time. Yes. And if it's written, you're going to do it. Make yeah. sure to write your goals down, too, guys. Yes, that's important. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Do people say you sound like Rihanna a little bit, mm-hmm. voice-wise? Yeah. It's just like a soft tone. Maybe it's the Caribbean. <laughs> like, I don't know. They got a soft voice. It's cute. I love it. Like, I hear your accent. <laughs> Not saying your music sound like her, but I'm saying, like, your voice. Thank you. I love it. It's the Caribbean. This the Caribbean. Can you cook? Uh, I love oh, a good yeah. Caribbean. Movie. Okay, what's, like, your favorite Caribbean dish to make before we run away? Curry. Right. Ch- curry. Um, cook up. Uh, chow mein and pepper pot. Mm-hmm. We, need a, we need some plates. Can, right. we, can we get some plates? Mm-hmm. Never had pepper pot. Anybody vegan? Well, yeah, down there. Yeah. Damn there. Yeah. I'm part time vegan, by the way. I'm yeah. trans. I'm going over there. You're going over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go over there soon. Yeah. Like every now and then you eat. Every now and then. Because yeah. like, my body's like rejecting the meat. I can't do it no more. Mm. Maybe I ate too much chicken this trip. Maybe. You know, the only meat that I can eat is lamb. I can do a good lamb chop. The one Mary had. Exactly. In the Bible. <laughs> lamb. <laughs> Everybody loves lamb, though. They're like, oh, these lamb chops are buzzing. And it's like a good meat. Like, you know, yeah. better than chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Like the quality. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Is it not good? Is it good for the body? I don't know. Yeah. It, it's just known as a better meat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's very like, they use it for like, I know Jewish people oh. during like Passover and all that. It's a mm-hmm. part of their culture. That's kind of yeah. sad. Though. I know I like so. gyros. Why is it sad? Mm. What's the... Because... The little lambs go. Had a little lamb. <laughs> Never had a little lamb. <laughs> and she was tiny. Isn't the lambs in the Bible or is that sheep? They're both. No. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. This is a stupid <laughs> question, but is a goat and a lamb, the lamb is what? I think they're cousins. Yeah, they look mm-hmm. alike. That's why I was like, okay, I get they're it. cousins. We get it. <laughs> we love you, be like We love you, be goat. Like. like, you got people eat goat. Yeah, I had yeah, curry. Yeah. I've yeah. had goat before. African uh, African person made it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, goat is delicious. Mm. I heard it was good. Yeah. But I can't eat a goat. That's so sad. 
Because you are a goat. Oh you can't God, eat you're, yourself. You're so meant to be a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't even. Like, you just like, oh, it's sad. <laughs> and then I saw chickens crossing the road the other day in Atlanta because there's a lot of chickens out here, wild ones. And I actually was like, damn, we eat those. Yeah. You Is know what made me mind, stop? It. it was a truck. It was a video. I don't know if y'all saw it. But it was a, a truck full of chickens. Mm. And they were like, it was like a turning thing. And the chickens were falling. Oh. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, I cannot eat that. Because that they're stressed out right now. Yeah. Right. And then eating them, I'm taking on that energy. spirit. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a real spill. Yeah. That's crazy. That's okay. probably like after you eat like fried chicken, you feel all, ugh. Yeah. You know? I'm good on that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel y'all. I'm gonna eat a fried chicken, but I. Think <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you can't go wrong with a tip. I'm sorry, but hey, hey. just don't eat it all the time. Life is good in moderation. Right. Life is good in moderation. Ain't that it? For sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you so much for coming to our show. Uh, we definitely plan on keeping in contact with you. We want to see you win. Please mm -hmm. give our listeners the social media how they can get in contact with you and introduce this record that you want us to play. Um, you could follow me on Instagram at Jordan Pauline J L U R D I N. P A U L I N E, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all that is the same. Make sure to look out for my merch, www.jordanpauline.com, coming soon. It's going to be lit. And Love Songs About Nobody, June 11th. Song, you want to Song. Say? Okay, <laughs> song, right? <laughs> um, you can listen to Lustful Desires now. All right, Lustful Desires now. Let's get to it. Infinite Vibes, Thanks, Nash Radio, turn us up. Let's go. <laughs>